Hey guys, different content today. We're going to be painting a dye i4 mask that my friend has tried customising himself, didn't get very far with it, so it's been stripped back and we're going to uh, do a little custom job for him. So after giving the mask a clean, we're going to be spraying this down with primer just to help the paint stick a bit better and give a better finish. I added two coats of primer to this, but two to three coats is about right when you're doing this to your mask. So that's the mask all primered up. You can get black or white, depending on what colour you're using, depends what you choose. On to masking. I always think that the part of the masking that is closest to where the colours change needs a lot of work. You just need to make sure that it's pressed down firmly and it's exactly the line that you want. The rest of the process is just about um, covering the rest of the mask up with masking tape. You can be a bit less uh, careful with this. Um, it, it's just about trying to make sure that the no overspray from the paint gets onto the other sides of the mask. Now you've got the masking tape on, you can then spray whatever design or colour you want onto the mask. We're going for a black on the left side and a, um, a white on the right side look with a splatter of uh, red blood on it as well. I always do two coats um, of paint minimum, sometimes four, um, and in between your coats give it about an hour to dry, that's about right, um, before you move on to your next coat as well. So the coats of black have dried, so we take the masking tape off um, and we mask off the other hand side go on and, and spray the white onto the other side. Just for those wondering as well, this is um, Halford's camouflage paint range um, and their matte paint range. It's not expensive, I think it's about £7 a can. Um, I'll link them down in the comments um, so you can find them if you want to use the exact paint that I'm using. That's three coats of white paint dried, so time to take the masking tape off and see what it looks like. I think it's turned out pretty sweet, I've got a little bit more to do here. I'd, I'm just looking around the mask to see if there's any bubbles or blemishes that I might need to sand back and respray over. So now for the blood splatter look that my friend wanted. So I'm just using a paintbrush that I've sprayed paint into a cup with. And I'm just flicking it onto the mask to create that splatter look. I think that's turned out pretty sweet. I think my friend's gonna be dead chuffed. So the next step to protect your mask from BB shots is to lacquer it up. Um, I would try four to five coats of lacquer, give it a good, I would say three, four hours between coats just to make sure it's really um, getting taken on there. And finally guys, here's some pictures that uh, my friend sent me. I think he's really, really happy with it and um, I think it turned out really well. So um, if you've enjoyed this video, yeah, please give us a like and a subscribe and if you uh, if you do decide to spray your mask tag me in the Instagram post and I'll make sure to comment and share it